This video is the second part of the Bedrock Box and Sandbox series. In this video, we will discuss what's new and what Steam to Earn has prepared for you. It will be interesting for both new users and experienced ones. We will answer frequently asked questions and help you resolve issues that may have previously hindered your broadcasts. Not long ago, a new version of Minecraft 1.21 was released. It introduced several new features that we decided to incorporate into our plugins. These updates are now available in the Stream to Earn program. Setting up a local Minecraft server. You now have the opportunity to set up a new Minecraft server, version 1.21. It requires the latest version of the JDK to be installed on your system for the server to run properly. I'll provide a link to the JDK in the video description. After installing it, you should restart the Stream to Earn program, or better yet, restart your computer. In the server settings, there is no need to change anything unless you are confident in what you are doing. After successfully setting up the server, go to the Plugin Manager, where you'll find two updated plugins. Install them and copy the preset. If you had already started the server, restart it to activate the games and make the commands available. Start the server and wait until the server status turns green. Frequently Asked Questions Yes, this works with T-Launcher. No, it does not work on mobile phones. Yes, it's free, but not all features are available. The paid subscription currently costs $19 per month. Yes, you can play with friends through Entrock. Common user errors. Server doesn't start. There could be various reasons for this. Most commonly, you have an outdated version of the JDK installed. You've allocated more RAM in the server settings than your system has available. The world name was entered incorrectly. You already have a server running via a .bat file. To find out the specific cause, Open the Minecraft server terminal in the program and review the server logs. We also have an AI assistant powered by GPT. The link is in the description. You can provide the assistant with the text from the logs and it will help identify what might have gone wrong. Unable to join the server. The answer lies in the message you receive when trying to connect to the server. Common issues include you entered the server address incorrectly. The correct IP to connect to your local server is either 127.0.0.1 or localhost. You didn't change the Minecraft client version. It must match the server version. You can easily change this in the Minecraft launcher or T-launcher. You enabled the online mode in the server settings but are trying to connect to the server using T-Launcher instead of the official Minecraft launcher. Commands not working. The slash bedrock create command isn't working. This likely means you either didn't install the plugin from the plugin manager or didn't restart the server after installing it. The slash game mode command isn't working. This indicates that you are not an administrator on the server. To fix this, Open the terminal and enter the command op your username. Your username can be seen in the terminal when you logged in to the server. If this doesn't resolve the issue, you can ask GPT for help or reach out to our Discord channel. Bedrock Box Updates In version 1.21, we've added two new and very useful commands. Bedrock Set Block Interaction Range 12 this command increases the distance your player can reach to place a block up to 12 blocks, for example. Bedrock Disable Knockback This command prevents TNT from knocking back players after an explosion. Here are a few more useful tips, which also work in other versions of Minecraft. Increase Block Placement Speed If you want to increase the speed of placing blocks, you can use a program for your mouse. Different manufacturers have various software that allows you to assign three to five right-click actions to a side button, significantly increasing your block placement speed. In the video description, you'll find links to programs from popular mouse manufacturers. 
instructions on how to use these programs can be found on YouTube. New Overlay Functionality Another useful feature is the ability to add a new command in the functions, win1 and loss1. Executing events with these commands will increase your win counter in the overlay. This overlay is added just like any other overlay. To quickly change the number of wins, you can use the widget in the program or hold down the Alt plus minus and Alt plus equals key combinations. Preventing box damage. To avoid accidentally breaking the box during a stream, use the command slash bedrock edit, which will prevent the walls of the box from being broken. Sandbox. To quickly break sand blocks, you need to be in survival mode. To quickly switch between modes, use the key combination F3 plus F4. This is a useful feature since sometimes you may need to quickly switch to creative mode to fly. A popular trend right now is changing the textures of falling dry concrete blocks to country flags or other images. On the Stream to Earn website, there's an article explaining how to install these textures, use them or replace the images with your own. The Minecraft world is normally limited to a height of 320 blocks, but you can extend it to 1024 blocks, allowing you to build taller towers during your streams. There's a link under this video that leads to another video with a data pack download link in its description. Open the server files folder through the program. Locate the folder for the world you are using usually named World. Inside the World folder, find the Data Packs folder and move the downloaded archive into it. Restart the server. Teleport to a higher coordinate and use the set block command to check if a block can be placed at this new height. This is not the last improvement for 1.21. More will be in new minigames. If you're not yet familiar with the Stream to Earn program, be sure to watch our video about GTA 5. It explains in detail how to set up TikTok Live Studio and connect the program to your TikTok live stream. And a little bonus for those who watched until the end. We recently added two new features. Voiceover of the chat for pro users with filters by viewers. And now you can change the icon on your preset by clicking on it while editing the template. I'm sure this video was useful for you, and you won't forget to subscribe to our channel.